like Strava here, Strava here. Strava's quite good as well. It comes up automatically with the, those are people that you're following and you've got the opportunity to have a look at their bits and pieces and give them kudos if you think they've done quite well. Um, and then there's your particular activities as well. How you're getting on, how many miles you've done this week on the bike. And you can go to other screens as well, find friends. How much mileage you've done over the year, set yourself some goals. Go back to feed. So this is the feed section. The the, the main menu is down at the bottom there, those five. And then your clubs as well, so Avon Valley Runners. So everyone in Avon Valley Runners, if you click there, you go to any of the other clubs that you're members of. Okay, so that's the people that you're following. And you can explore. This is just what they're kind of pushing towards you. These are challenges that you can take on if you want. Like run 13.1 miles in May. Um, they're the challenges. So you read all and more about those in there and join them up. And then it gives you a big badge if you manage to sort out the challenge. Clubs as well, you can join some more clubs if you want to. And then segment, the segment explorer. So these, this is quite interesting. What this is, this is to deal with the Strava segments. Um, and they're, they're pictured on there and you can find them locally to you. You can use record if you want to record your run on your phone. Rather than your Garmin device, you can record it straight onto start Strava. So click and start there. And there's your profile with all your details on there. Fairly similar to the Strava. Uh, you use on your computer. This is how tense you are, intense you are, but this is probably more um, on the premium side of things as far as Strava Summit's called. No, it was Strava Premium, now called Strava Summit. So that's a basic look at the app for Strava. 